Hey guys, it's Mark here from Out Office Camping, and uh, we just did a little improvement here on our Coleman pop-up camper, and that was to replace the shock cord on the bump outs. So I'm going to go ahead and take some time and show you how to do that. Okay, so to start off, just a couple things that we're going to be using tool-wise, and then the shock cord itself. So you'll need to find some wire. Now a coat hanger is actually too thick and I don't know if you can see this but basically this is your coat hanger and uh, so I found some really thin wire so you want to find something kind of a couple gauges down from the coat hanger. A coat hanger may work but it might be a little too thick so if you can see that I'm using this one right here. Uh, tool wise, a pair of channel locks, a scissors, also maybe um, if you don't have a pair of scissors just a uh, exacto blade, um, electrical tape, the caps that come with the shock cord or, or purchase those. And this is just, I put this out just to show example of the old shock cord that we pulled out of our Coleman um, pop-up Utah. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, next I'm going to slide the small barrel onto the cord, the shock cord, and it doesn't matter which way this goes. And then basically put the hook on and then keep the, pushing the pressure onto the cord while you slide the barrel up. This is where the channel locks are really critical. Basically, just use the channel locks to close that up. Now, in the event that you somehow accidentally put this together and the cord actually comes back out, you can take this little black cap and then just slide it back off just the hook itself if the cord uh, doesn't stay tight. All right, next you want to go ahead and remove your cord, your old cord, from the bump outs. So uh, cut your ends off so you can slide the cord out start peeling that through. Now this one has been pieced together so I have quite a few different sizes mixed with old sizes. Now for some chance your cord gets stuck like I did on the what happened on the back you can uh, try to fish it out with uh, basically the wire and the hook that we're to use to push through. So get all your old out And that's it. Next, we want to basically find on your bump out, these two spots here are your longest distance. And that's really important to remember because this is the length of the wire that we're going to need, which we're going to use almost like a needle or uh, as they refer to as a fish. And we're going to take our new shock cord, attach that to that so we can feed it through. And this point being the longest point is really critical. So let's get into that next. Okay, so I have my wire, which I've actually cut to the length of the furthest grommet holes. Uh, this happens to be a little over three feet. Now one thing I've done with the wire, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but I've taken the one end and basically put a little circle on it, which just makes it easier when it's going through not to get caught on anything. Okay, so next, Thing. Now that we have our shock cord and have the one end on it, we're basically going to attach the wire with the electrical duct tape and I'm just basically wrapping it around and then I'll actually take my duct tape, I mean, I'm sorry, my electrical tape or some kind of tape, but electrical tape works the best, around the, the fish. So I'm actually using electrical tape and I'm wrapping this all the way down. I've taken the wire and I have it pretty well extended out. And this just helps guide it through. That's all it's doing, but you don't want to lose it when you're pulling it through. And then you might want to just bring that up a bit, rewrap, coming back up. You don't want this to be too thick, otherwise you won't be able to get it through the grommet holes. And that's it. Okay, next I'm going to start feeding my wire through here. Looking for the next grommet hole. And a nice thing when you have the little loop, you can actually feel where you are and you can see it. And I actually just went past. Okay, it took a little while to find that one there, the first one. Got that through. Uh, moving on, just continue to fish this through. Now, if you don't, if you have problems with the electrical tape on the first grommet pulling it through, then you have too much electrical tape on your, your wire and you want to kind of pull it back out and start all over. So the nice thing too, with the thinner wire, you can see I can actually really bend it. Bend the wire as I'm going, 
and I can pull everything through. Now this actually, the shock cord, I didn't mention earlier, but this is about 20 feet of shock cord. That's a good length to purchase to start with. And then just continue this all the way around. And when we get to the corner, I'll explain that a little further. Okay, so I'm sure you noticed by now I've dropped the bow. Of course, you do have to take out the shepherd's hook brace. Otherwise, it could be a little challenging. So next, go ahead and get that fed. And once again, just gonna keep this as straight as possible. And then we'll move on. Oh my God, you're weird. That's gonna look really funny when you do like five times zoom. I'm not zoom, um, speed. Now that I have everything fed through, I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect my wire and unwrap my electrical tape. From there, I'll be ready to put the cap on to the end. Before I get into that, I'm going to need to take the bow and put everything back up so I can put the, the sides back down as to where they would normally sit. Okay, so next I like to basically take the shock cord and pull it somewhat snug so with my fingers and see if it, it comes back. And if that's about the right spot, where it's not too loose, like that would be too loose. So I want to get a little bit of tension on it, grab it, pull it, see if that would return. And that right there is where I'd like to cut it. Now you have to be very careful when you cut it that you don't lose your cord. So next, same repeat from before, slide your barrel over, put the hook on, Push the two together, make sure you don't lose anything. Grab the channel locks and attempt to do this without any help. So if you have someone that can help you, that's really would be key. Once everything's back together, give a check and you want it to be able to return. So everything returns. Now, just to point out, the other side was not hooked. I uh, did both of them unhooked, obviously, installed. And after that, that's pretty much it. You can go around. Our camper actually has the hooks underneath. So these, where they loop out, will actually attach to hooks underneath the bed. Okay, now that the hooks are all connected to the ends of your cables, what you want to do next is basically hook both of those underneath your camper. And we'll go ahead and start that. And then our camper has the hooks underneath, so where your grommet holes were and your cable came out, those cords will connect to the hooks underneath if you have that. I hope you found this video useful with the replacement of the shock cord. We're going to continue to do more videos like this so we can share with you the things that we're learning with our Coleman pop-up. And we want to just take the moment to thank you for watching this. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And also, if you have time and you're interested, please subscribe as we build more content. All right, have a good day. Okay, next, basically going to slide on the small barrel to the cord. This is the first thing we're going to start with, and it doesn't matter which way that goes. And then next, going to slide on the hook itself. Then push these up as far as you can. Okay, so so far I've just basically been weaving in and out of each of the grommets. Now we're to the farthest uh, grommet points. This will be really helpful because you really need to have a good straightaway. Basically, if you drop your bow. Uh, our shepherd's hook is up. You're not going to be able to drop the bow. What? Did you take the shepherd's hook out? Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Nope. Thank you for taking the time to check out this. Now, I hope you found this 
replacement of the shock cord helpful and useful. As we continue to do more things to our uh, Coleman pop-up, we're going to be sharing. Okay, guys. We hope that this <laughs> Okay, guys. We hope you found this video useful. As we continue to work on our Coleman pop-up, we're going to do more videos like this. So thank you for taking the time. If you found this helpful, please take the moment to subscribe if you'd like. And then also give us a like. Thank you. We hope you found this tip of replacing the...